Hello, everyone. Welcome to CXO Spice. CXO Spice is a platform for technology innovators to share their point of view on innovations and give examples on how to make it happen in the real world. Today's topic is fintech innovation. Our special guest today is Andreas Livadietis, the CEO at X Valley Technologies. Hi, Andy. Thank you for having me as your keynote speaker at the fintech summit in Cyprus last week. Delighted to host you here on CXO Spice today. Hi, Helen. Thank you for hosting me today and thank you for coming to Cyprus last week. Before we dive into our discussion, tell us about your background and what led you to become an entrepreneur and start X Valley. Well, uh, my background is both in finance and computer science. I have a bachelor degree in computer science and a master in uh, finance. I was uh, I was working for many companies uh, uh, when I was young, and I, I found out that many products were missing some uh, features and uh, you making the users. Uh, more uh, making a more user-friendly interface. So what I thought there was a need to create a web-based uh, trading online trading platform, and that's where X Valley it started to build. We built an online trading platform, a CRM, a banking solution, a reporting solution, a risk management solution. Also, we implemented social trading platform. Uh, uh, manage accounts, funded accounts, payment integrations, and so on. After being in the industry for seven years, I, I saw that the fintech community in Cyprus was missing an event that will get together all the, all the community, a networking event that everybody will be able to speak, cooperate, uh, think of new ideas. So I created Cyprus FinTech Summit, which was the reason also that we met. Wow. So Cyprus truly is an emerging global uh, center for FinTech. Kudos to innovators like you. Uh, you know, the, the Cyprus FinTech uh, Summit was so well organized. It covered key pressing topics in the FinTech industry, like governance, legal, regulatory environments, innovation on blockchain, product development and financing. So tell us a little bit more about the event and then what what, what is your key takeaway from the summit? Yes, the, the event got some very good compliments from several people. They are already asking me when it's gonna be the next one. We saw a lot of people gathering together in the first physical event after the COVID pandemic. We saw a lot of different industries getting together. We had a lot of good speakers coming from the United States, from Europe, like uh, yourself. And uh, we saw a good quality panels that uh, got the audience uh, to stay during the whole event and created a, a spark, many meaningful conversations. What we saw is that uh, keeping an event with high quality and not scaling up to large numbers in 5,000 and 10,000 of people, keeping the event between 300 to 500, 700 people is much more valuable. Everybody can speak with everyone. The speakers can speak to the audience. And we saw also that the spirit of the, the party, the festival, the networking is much more important than the people. They want to talk to each other. They don't want to, they have questions. They want to ask questions and they don't want to just sit for five, six hours nonstop and listen to someone talking. The, everybody has the need to get information, their own personal information. So about the next event, we are thinking to do it even more interactive. I love that. I mean, I echo what you just said. First of all, congratulations on uh, this such a you know raving success at you know for the fintech summit, and uh, you know it was really intimate and interactive, right? That was the 
uh, unforgettable experience that people had. Everybody was there, felt like welcoming. So the topics and speakers and audience have far reaching expertise beyond Cyprus too. So thank you. Uh, what are the most notable FinTech innovations that you have seen in the past five years? We have seen uh, artificial intelligence has taken every sector, not only FinTech, we see that the fintech uh, companies are using artificial intelligence to support their clients, to support their uh, internal processes, to monitor their uh, calling, uh, their uh, customer support. We see that uh, artificial intelligence can, can help uh, governments, banking institutions, financial institutions. Like uh, you don't need to speak to someone over the, the phone and wait for 40 minutes to one hour to get uh, on the call, you can just speak to an artificial intelligence agent and tell him, I need a statement, I need to open a new account, and it will help you immediately. There is no need to queue for something like that. And this has uh, created uh, much value to the companies who have already are using artificial intelligence. And I believe in the future, you will most likely do everything with using an artificial intelligence agent uh, instead of speaking to a real person. We have also seen huge innovation in the blockchain space, uh, layer two and layer three uh, implementations on top of um, uh, Ethereum and Bitcoin. We have seen a lot of DeFi in development, a lot of metaverse, uh, a lot of NFTs being published. And I believe the blockchain innovation will keep uh, keep having more and more products to the market until we find the established and most usable way to use blockchain. Because right now, it's just proposing you know, ideas. There mm -hmm. is nothing beyond transactional, which is the number one usage of Bitcoin. It's, uh, it's not been widely used by the public. So when Ethereum now is, is, is finished with the merge and it's able to process 100,000 transactions per second, I'm only curious to see what will happen to Ethereum and what will happen to all the tokens that live in the Ethereum space. Uh, the next uh, huge innovation is by the cloud uh, companies like Azure, Amazon, and Google. We have seen cloud computing uh, getting into a next scale, helping startups and also established companies where they can use serverless uh, technologies. They can deploy fast. They can use Docker. They can use containers. Everything is built uh, using much more innovative programming languages than it used to be, in my case, 10 years and 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. So I see a lot of new, exciting, amazing products launching not only from Cyprus, but globally from Europe, from America, that we are uh, impossible to develop by one and two people in the past without having huge computers uh, backing you up. And we also see people with no code knowledge, like no code and low code programming knowledge, being able to develop their own products, like uh, data analysts and data scientists now can go and create their own product without the need of uh, uh, paying and development team and so on. So this is a huge advantage for people who want to innovate. They can use these tools to create their product and go to market or go to investors. Mm -hmm. And the fifth product I see happening the last two years is process automation in the, in the back office of many companies. A, a company that needed five people to upload documents, upload, upload news, edit videos, uh, create reports, send emails, approve uh, uh, some action. All these now are doing with uh, uh, automated tools. You can program your tool to, to check everything and to verify everything and just approve everything. And the manual process will be at the end of the, after doing five, six, seven, ten steps, you will see at the end just a human approving all the process. It, it's uh, fascinating to see how much we have evolved even since two to three years ago. Um, is there any customer story you want to share with the audience here? 
Um, yeah, uh, what I've seen lately is one of my customers, when they wanted to publish uh, a press announcement because they are regulated, mm -hmm. there will be the, the, the person who will write the press announcement, they will have to send it to the marketing department for approval, then they will have to send it to the regulation department for approval, then they will send to send it to the developer to upload to the websites. Mm -hmm. So what we did is we automated and we removed as many human interaction as possible. So after the, the articles was ready, it will go to the, uh, the duration department for approval mm -hmm. and then automatically publish through the website without the need of a marketing and a, and a human being to upload the document. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a great story. Thank you. I was actually pleasantly surprised to see so many innovators and fintech startups in Cyprus. What makes uh, Cyprus so attractive? Well, Cyprus is an attractive island. It's a very beautiful place to live. And also Cyprus is a hub. It's a financial hub. It's a technology hub. It's a, we have fiduciary services, tax services, a very favorable company and personal income tax rates. And we have a very good uh, lifestyle uh, balance and oriented culture. The, the people here are very, they are very warm, they are very hospitable and very welcoming. And there is no way you will not find someone in Cyprus to give you a helping hand. Whether if you are starting a business or you are established business and you want to move uh, to Cyprus. A very, a very typical scenario, when a company moves to Cyprus, they will hire someone from Cyprus to run the, the business and to help them, like the right, right uh, hand, we say usually in Cyprus. You, you need someone local to to be your right hand uh, cyprus is it has wireless coverage all over the country you can find services in every city it's very easy to move from one city to another we have two airports cyprus is only one million in population but it has one of the highest gdp per capita on the planet we also have uh, the possibility to work from the beach or from the office, and you can do remote work or local work or uh, have your services globally or locally, whatever, whatever type of business you have. Well, I experienced that welcoming culture firsthand and uh, definitely echo what you just said there. So uh, Andy, what other upcoming Cypress FinTech events you are working on? Well, we are starting to plan the next Cyprus FinTech Summit 2023 in January, in the coming January. Uh, this event will be in the similar format with very good quality speakers and uh, around 500 people. But a lot of people are asking me to create smaller gatherings. So I'm thinking maybe to create a Christmas party or a holiday party in the new year. We will see about that. We also got many offers to host our events in France, in Italy, and other countries. Mm -hmm. So Dubai, we are also thinking to see if that is possible for the team to move uh, in a different country and do this work remotely. We will see about that. And uh, we are also planning to have a, a startup competition, maybe a blockchain or some other kind of fintech competition. We will use one vertical that uh, we will help in this way to promote Cyprus uh, local startups and also bring some VCs to Cyprus and show them how good it is to, to do business in Cyprus. Well, that's fascinating. Absolutely look forward to uh, hearing more about the upcoming events and hopefully uh, we'll see you again soon. Right? Of course, you are welcome. Yeah, thank you. And then any other advice that you have for other upcoming in, uh, FinTech innovators? Yes, uh, the FinTech innovators are very valuable to our markets. 
And if you, if someone has innovation to be part of his uh, blood, let's say, if you if you are an innovator and you have great ideas, you should be uh, studying the other parts of a business. Study the accounting, the marketing, people management skills are also very important. Uh, money management skills, uh, how to hire people, how to manage your business. Uh, and there is lots of books like your book and other books that you can read this day and learn from the best. Don't wait uh, until you make a mistake or uh, something bad happens. Go out there, read, learn the skills that you need and keep innovating. And innovating not only on your fintech product, but also innovate in every department. Uh, you could find some innovation in some other department that will make it work for you. It doesn't mean that if it works for the, everybody else, it has to work for you. You can do it your way, but learn from the pe from the people who have done it in the past. But keep innovating, and this is what moves the world around. Well said, Andy. Uh, such a pleasure having you, and uh, thank you for sharing the thoughts with us today. And uh, you know, here's my really takeaway. I, I do want to wrap it up with. Uh, uh, really calling out for such a fantastic summit, FinTech summit you organized and you and your company organized. And I learned that Cyprus, you know, and its free, uh, surrounding areas, or, you know, the Limassol, obviously the city we're in and the surrounding areas are growing really fast. Uh, kudos to the friendly people, the, the talents and, gar you know, the government planning support and then also the low cost of uh, living and wonderful culture and weather, obviously. I enjoy the food so much as well. And the international appeal is exceptional, right? Opportunities are way beyond horizon. So uh, I wish you continued success with more FinTech summits in the coming year. And thank you everyone for joining us today. Stay hungry, stay bold, and stay grateful.